The Jets knew they had a big problem at receiver way back in the offseason, and it only got bigger in the first couple of days of training camp. First, they lost rookie receiver Denzel Mims, their second-round pick, to a hamstring injury that's going to keep him out at least a few days, maybe more. Then veteran Vincent Smith went down with a core muscle injury. He's going to see a specialist, and suddenly a very thin group became even thinner. It's why the Jets, out of desperation, have signed veteran receiver Chris Hogan, the former Panther and former New England Patriot. The real pressure, though, now switches to Brashad Perryman. Now, back in the offseason when the Jets were looking for receiver help, Perryman was the only one they brought in. They only brought him in after Robbie Anderson left for Carolina. And they were sold on the fact that Perryman, in the last five games of last season, was fantastic. 25 catches, 500 yards, five touchdowns. But all of that was really an aberration for the rest of his career when the former first round pick really was hampered by injuries, lack of opportunities, and never quite lived up to expectations. Now the Jets desperately need him to live up to everything. They want him to be, if not the number one receiver in the offense, certainly the number two receiver in the offense. And just by the sheer numbers and the fact that Mims, as a rookie, could be missing some extended time. Perryman has no choice but to become a very big part of the passing attack. So far, the Jets say all the right things about him. They love his speed. They love his size. They love his work ethic. But they really need him to translate all of that to actual production when the games start, which, of course, is coming up soon.